Welcome, I am Brittany with Birth It Forward, certified birth and bereavement doula, certified yoga instructor and family photographer. We are going to do some prenatal yoga today to help prepare your body for the birth of your baby. Let's start just by focusing, centering, and taking some deep breaths. One of my favorite breath works is Ujjayi breath. So what we do there is take a breath in through the nose, and then on the exhale, open the back of your throat and you can practice by putting a hand up at your mouth. And as you blow out, it's like you're blowing, um, like you're trying to fog up a mirror. So it's, that's a great one. That one you also would do with your mouth shut. Uh, you can do it open mouth or closed mouth, or you can just breathe slowly in for four and out for five or six whichever you prefer, but let's just take a moment, put your hands on your belly, and let's take some deep breaths here as we prepare for our yoga practice today. On this next breath, let's raise our hands to the ceiling on the inhale, and lower them on the exhale. We're just gonna move with our breath. Take a step to the top of your mat. I have a few blocks here just in case. You're welcome to have a block or two or a chair. On this next exhale, we're gonna come down and touch our toes in a swan dive. If you can't touch your toes, that is totally fine. Just grab your shins or your knees. If you need to bend your knees to touch your toes, that is okay as well. Just go however far you are comfortable. On your inhale, come up to a half forward fold. And back down. Coming back up, rolling your back one vertebrae at a time. As we inhale, arms go up. And back down. Half forward fold. And back down. If you want, you can place your hands on blocks and take a step back. Or place your hands on the floor and step back. We're going to step back and turn our toes to the long edge of the mat and then come up for a warrior two. Keeping that core engaged. Keeping your pelvis tucked, so I don't want to see your pelvis out. We want it tucked in. And let's put an elbow on your leg. Come back. Putting your back arm on your back leg, lightly and gently, don't put any pressure on that knee. And just arch as far as you're comfortable. Coming back to a warrior two stance, straighten that front leg for a pyramid pose. So we're, sorry, I was thinking triangle. Anyway, <laughs> coming straight down with your arm up. You can also do this with a block. You can do it with a block in any position, or you can touch the floor. You can also just go right here, that is our country. If you're comfortable, go ahead and rotate your body towards your toes. You can rotate your back toes, feeling that stretch all along the back of this leg here. Deep breaths. Use your blocks if you need to. Deep breaths as you relax those muscles. Relax into the position. Now rotate your legs back to center. Putting your hands on the floor or using a block. Gaze between your legs. Rotate 
to the left, rotate to the right, grab your elbows and just continue to rock a little bit. Stopping on the right side. Now turning those your toes to the short edge of the mat. Rotate your body over that leg. Again, if you need a block, you can get a block. Rotate your back toes back to the long edge of the mat. If you need to come up, feel free to come up. We've been down for a long time. Give your body a moment. Just in a wide leg stance. Allow all that blood to rush back into your body as we breathe. Turning your toes. To the far edge of the mat, come down into our warrior two. Putting your elbow on your knee. And come back for revolve, warrior. Sorry, keep the front leg bent. And come down to the floor. Straighten the front leg for pyramid. Turn your back foot to the front for triangle. If you're able to, you can step back or if you need to come up and then step back into a down dog. If you need to, feel free to pedal here, adding some movement to the pose. When you're ready, you can find stillness. Drop your knees to the floor. Untuck your toes. Drop your belly to the floor for a cat cow. Breathing in as we drop the belly. Breathing out as we Push our shoulders to the ceiling and tuck our pelvis. Let's find our way to our step, to our bottoms. Place your feet together. Allowing your knees to fall open. If you can, you can butterfly them a little bit. Add some movement. You're welcome to slide your feet farther forward if you need to. But we're just gonna kind of rock forward and backwards here. When you're ready, you can find stillness. Pushing your chest to the floor. Breathing deep, hinging from the hips. Coming back up. It might feel more comfortable for you to sit on a block. Just to give yourself a little more space for baby here. Place your feet in front of you. Keeping your toes flexed if you can. If not, just relax them, let them sit. Arms to the ceiling. And come forward. Come forward just as far as you're able. So if that's right here, that is okay. You can keep your feet to the long edge of the to the long edge of the mat. You can stay sitting here or making your way forward as you would like. With each breath, relaxing those hamstrings and calves. 
with each breath on the exhale try and relax into it a little farther going a little deeper feeling that stretch through your back your hamstrings once you get your toes or your calves Coming back up. Good. I'm going to face you again here. You can stay toward the long edge of your mat or you can face the short edge. Open your legs. As far as you are comfortable. For me, that's about a 90 degree angle here. Let's just begin by sitting, breathing deep, allowing our body to relax into this position, especially if it's not one that we sit in very regularly. Now we're going to add some movement, just do some circles here. If you want, you can grab a block and use that for your circles. comfortable to place the block under your knee. That is okay. If you're feeling strain on your knees, you can place the block. to drop your chin, which will increase the stretch along your shoulder bone. If you can, try and touch your toes. If you can't do it with your far hand, do it with your close hand. Coming back up nice and slow as we inhale, turn our torso, our chest toward the right leg and then begin to come down. We need to add a little movement, we can. Breathing on the exhale, coming low. Inhale, coming up. As we just kind of come down our leg. Reaching with your right, left hand to your right foot. Twisting. Your belly might be in the way. You may not go this far. That is okay. If right here is as far as you can go, that's, that's good. You're still going to feel that stretch through your hamstring, through your back. If you can get your toes, I'll reach them. This one's a little tighter. <laughs> Great job, coming back up. 
it and breathe. Feel free to go forward and backwards again. Okay, I think I want to do circles. Good job. Tuck your left leg in. Actually, let's straighten the right leg. Take your left foot over your left right knee. Sitting up straight and tall. You can stay right here facing forward. Or if you would like a deeper stretch through your back and your hip, push your hip, hip uh, push that knee over. You may not be able to do this with your belly. And twist looking over your left shoulder. Those of you ladies who are postpartum, this is a great position for us to reawaken our core, our backs, relieve some of the tension in our hips. Coming back to center. Pregnant mamas, an alternate option for you is to drop the knee and kind of come forward a little bit. Let's switch legs. Pushing the leg over. Turning and looking over your right shoulder. Coming back to center. Drop the knee. a deeper hip stretch. I'm going to face the short edge of my mat. I'm going to start again with my left knee. Cross it on your right knee, dropping that hip open. And instead of keeping your leg down, we're going to bend it and begin to push ourselves into our foot. If you would prefer, you can lay down and pull your right leg towards you, but I'm wanting to sit. Release that, switch feet. There we go. Remembering to breathe in through the nose, out through the mouth. And dropping those feet to the floor, keeping your hands behind you. Just kind of drop your shoulders and begin to bend your elbows. You're going to feel a good stretch all along your shoulder blades and your upper back. As you curl around your baby, come back up, pushing, opening your chest, pushing your chest to the ceiling and back down. Going back up on the inhale and exhale back down. Let's sit back in our easy pose. Let's cross applesauce. like you may sit on the block again that might be more comfortable for you giving you some more space for baby place your hands on your knee thumb and middle finger together trying something new, taking care of yourself and preparing yourself for your baby. 
Thank you for joining me today. Again, I am Brittany with Birth It Forward. We are a nonprofit doula group. We offer doula services both birth and postpartum in the Kansas City area. Um, we have full rates and sliding scale available as well as um, free services for those who qualify. If you're in the area, please reach out to us. We'd love to talk to you. Make sure you hit the like button for your video uh, so I know that you want more. Subscribe to our channel and hit the bell button so you're notified when we have new posts. I do a birth tip Tuesday to help prepare you on Tuesdays for the birth of your baby. We talk all things pregnancy, um, postpartum, and birth. And of course, you have the videos on Friday. Have a great rest of your day. I'll talk to you soon.